Hannah Bloggers, nothing too interesting today, but we thought we would show you a store called Kane's here in Omigawa. We are essentially calling it the Japanese Walmart because it's literally what it is. We're not really hiding, but we're hanging out in the garden section right now, so we'll go take you on a tour. Let's go. What are these? Uh, so these are what are called kotatsu, not to be confused with a tonkatsu. A kotatsu, hold on, are you still filming? Yeah. Okay, a kotatsu is a really low sitting table. You can see the legs are not that long at all, but they sit right on the floor and they're going to have a heating unit. Oh, Somewhere under here, there it is. Got it, got it. The point is, there's a heater unit under here. And you sit under it in the winter to keep your legs warm. But the other thing you've probably seen in anime is you see this table with like a quilt. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so you pull this off, you stick this foot thing underneath it, and then you essentially have what looks like that one right there where it keeps the heat in and warm. And these are really popular in the winter time just because your feet and your legs stay warm. So, popular item to have. And they sell them here at Kay's. <laughs> now put the sign back. Yeah, drop the sign back. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Good for now. <laughs> Are you tired of having to pre-measure your rice every time you want to make some rice? Well now you don't have to. There are rice servers. All you do, press a button, and it dispenses the perfect amount of rice that you want. Pre-designated amounts as shown below. And then you have a fancier option. So getting your rice pre-served has never been easier. <laughs> so, did you bring your pet to Japan? Or do you already live in Japan and have a pet? At Kane's, there are pet sections. Let's go. I think we found the dog section, so this is no good. Oops. If you've been in Japan, and have you ever heard of Bakari Sweat? Pet Sweat for your pets. So I'm trying to figure that out. But as you can see, they have a wide range of stuff. They've got dry food, wet food, cans, big old pumpkin bags. <laughs> ah, litter. Ah, litter. Perfect, litter. Yep. Up. <laughs> so one of the most important things you need with cat is cat litter. Here it's called Catto Sando. Cat sand. So go figure. There are a couple different options. We'll do a video. Come here. On it later. So this is the brand we get. Jesus. It's heavy. <laughs> But this is the cat section, cat food, cat treats, cat toys, catnip. Our cat likes his catnip. If you're in Japan and you need to work out, a large selection of workout stuff. Japan is really into losing weight. Kind of disturbing. And on the thing of being healthy, 
There is your lovely outdoor section with tents, if you can find them. There they are. Oh, there they are. They're changing for the season. It's getting colder now, so camping is not going to be an option much longer. Since bikes are a big thing in Japan, there is a wide selection of bikes available for purchase, including kid bikes, adult bikes, and floating bikes. This is also kind of big if you don't have a car or in our case where you have a car and you don't want to use it all the time and become a fat lazy American. Bikes are nice and decently priced too. Lots of accessories and I do mean a lot of accessories. Hey look! Folding bikes. And honestly, bikes aren't priced too badly. That's about 200, uh, 200 bucks. Mm. The bike Kyle's looking at is this this one? This blue one or this silver one? This blue one or maybe this silver one or black. We're still trying to figure out things. But a lot of options. Speeds, bells, locking mechanisms like mm. this. We will do a tour on the bike eventually because the bike here is a serious mode of transportation. So look forward to that. <laughs> Next section. So in America, you have very big parts that only go one direction. In Japan, we have basket parts. Ooh. Additionally, tiny parts. Additionally, all four directions. America, why do you not have this? <laughs> so your hoodie doesn't get de-hooded. Have you ever been toilet paper shopping and you wonder what exactly your toilet paper is going to feel like before you buy it? Here in Japan, you can. Look, they have a trash can you can put it in. <laughs> but yes, toilet paper test runs. So like we mentioned in the start of the video, Canes is like a Walmart, so now we are entering the food side. We'll do a more in-depth video later, I guess, on how exactly we you can really buy food here, but we'll just show you a quick sneak peek of shopping for food in Japan. Always have a look. By the way, if anyone's wondering how our diets have changed here in Japan, let us know in the comment section below and we'll try and do a video about that at some point. First rule of shopping. Always have a list. Second rule, don't come hungry and I think we're both kind of hungry. There we go. Probably a bad idea. not the biggest selection of rice. I mean, heck, they have stores dedicated to rice. Nothing but rice. So this is not a very big selection of rice. <laughs> Did I say it's rice? <laughs> rice, 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 rice? And it's so expensive. Why is it so expensive, Japan? Why, Japanese people, why? <laughs> you get the reference? Five points. <laughs> 
thin pineapple, apple thin, thin pineapple, apple thin. So you know how there are like uh, little pet tag engraving machines? Well, this is a hunko engraving machine. And I'm getting my own hanko. Yay! If you're wondering what a hanko is, it's Japan's signature. So it's just a fancy stamp with your name on it. I am going to go get us some french fries. So, it's done with my hanko. We're gonna see what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. I like it. 